and welcome to Shea's Sanctuary, a peaceful space that inspires personal evolution. Before we get started, I just want to say that by participating in this class, you do acknowledge that you've reviewed the class disclaimer at shaysarrett.com backslash disclaimer, and you are participating in this class at your own risk. I'm so thankful that you're here, and today I'm going to be guiding you through a therapeutic yoga practice designed around the theme of befriending your body. And I know befriending the body isn't something that you can just tell somebody to do. And so today I just wanted to invite you to take a step back from that and just, this is an invitation to be in relationship with your body. Notice the relationship you have with your body, how you communicate with your body and how your body communicates with you. Let this be class something that you do with your body as opposed to something you might do to your body. And unlike traditional yoga classes, which might use pose names or make you feel like you have to look a certain way or comply with the person next to you, I really invite you to use the guidance to embrace the postures in a way that works for your body. I hope this kind of class creates a lot more freedom for you and an opportunity for deeper connection to yourself as we explore the different shapes that I'm going to be offering you. During this class, we're going to start with some embodied movement, which is going to feel a little bit more vigorous, which is going to bring some deeper breaths into the body, we're going to be moving a little bit quicker, we're going to get the breath going, get the heart rate going, and that's done with intention to start to bring sensation into the body. We're going to move into some postures for edge, which I'll talk about when we get there, and then we're going to be slowing things down and dropping into some postures to really be with the body, to slow things down, to be in that place of what I call a sacred pause, and notice what happens to the body, to the mind, when we're in those still places. And we're going to close our practice with a guided meditation. So we'll go ahead and get started today, and I want to invite you to come up to a standing posture. And just notice your body as you come to standing. If you're already standing, maybe you kind of shake things out or wiggle things out and, and just allow your body to come up to this standing shape. Feel your feet pressing into the ground, straighten the spine, and maybe you can start to feel this first sense of connection to floor, building, greater earth around you. And just take some breaths here, just a natural breath and just notice that breath and notice your body. Noticing is an invitation that you'll receive frequently throughout this practice and it just invites you to come back to the present moment. Also often it's easy to be distracted or pulled into story or what's going to happen next, but with every breath just come back to the body. And then allow your breath to start to move in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. And then bring one or both hands on your belly just below the navel. And breathe in through the nose. And as you exhale, find a sound. Maybe it's ha. Ah. I'm inviting you here to take a bigger breath, to make a little bit of noise, to allow yourself to take up space. And breathe in and breathe out. And as you breathe in and out, you might be able to feel your hand move out and back with the breath as the belly expands. Breath in and breath out. And staying with that deep breath, release the arms and reach the hands up towards the ceiling with an inhale. And as you exhale, allow your arms to fall down by your side. Breathe in, the arms up, breathe out, drop the arms down by your side. And stay with that a couple of times. Breathing in and breathing out, moving the arms up and down. Notice your body, notice your breath. And see if you can add a little bit of vigor to this. Make this a little bit quicker. Your breath might start to sound like, ha, 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 ha. 
we're going to start to add the lower body into this. So as you inhale, reach your arms up. As you exhale, bend your knees and flop your body down towards the floor any amount. And then inhale, come back up. And exhale, drop back down. So maybe you're adding a squat into this. Maybe you're just bending the knees a little bit. What feels right for you? Notice your body and notice how your body gives you that information that says, yes, this is right for me. And do this a couple more times. And then next time you inhale, reach your arms up towards the ceiling and begin to look up. Feel your feet pressing into the floor. And if you can, imagine yourself climbing a ladder. So you're gonna to start to lift one side up and then the other. Just imagine hands and feet climbing up that ladder. And stay with that breath going up, up, and up. Slight, and then start to let this go. Bring your arms down by your side. Step your feet out wider than your hips. Let the knees be a little bit soft. And then start to swing from side to side. Start out slow and just feel that side to side movement in your body. Maybe you can imagine you've got a coat on with empty coat sleeves and you're just swinging your arms from side to side. And stay with that breath, inhaling. And let this movement get a little bit bigger, a little bit more vigorous. Maybe you lift the heel up and bend the knee as you turn from side to side. Notice your body. Notice your breath. And then start to let this go. Come back to neutral. Step your feet together just under the hips. Bring one hand to the belly, one hand to the heart. Close the eyes or soften the gaze. Take a breath here. What's happening now in your body? How can you connect with your body right now in this moment? Where is your awareness and attention in your body? And then allow the arms to come down by your side. With the spine straight, start to drop your right ear down to your right shoulder. And as you move that right ear down, notice how the sensation changes on the left side of the neck. And I invite you to lift the head up and down, just playing with that sensation. And it's in this first posture that we're gonna explore edge. And edge is a place of not too much and not too little. But it's a place where we can feel a sensation. We can feel a change in the body. It's a place where we can hang out and take some deep breaths. And so you might lift the head up and drop it down just a little. Just notice that first change in sensation. Maybe you bring the ear all the way down towards the shoulder and you just, you can tell when that's too much. And so you back off and you find that place in between. And it's here that we can embrace our edge. Say yes to the edge. Be in this place for another breath or two. And next time you inhale, exhale, just bring the chin down to the chest. And then lift the chin back up to center. And then start to move into the shape on the other side, dropping the left ear down to the left shoulder. And again, playing with edge, exploring the edge now on the right side of the neck. Maybe you drop the ear just a little, again, to notice just that first change in sensation. And then you drop that left ear down a little bit more. Maybe you notice how left side is different from right side. Just notice that without having to question it or understand it. And 
breathe in and breathe out. What's happening now? And next time you exhale, let the chin fall back down towards the chest and take a breath here. And lift the chin back over the chest. And then begin to reach your arms up overhead so that you steeple the fingers. And you're gonna press through both feet and you're gonna find a little bend over to the right side. And you might feel this lengthening through the left side. And you wanna engage the core and keep the spine straight as you ease over to the right side. And just like you did with the neck, explore the right side. Where is your edge on this side? What's too much? What's too little? And how do you know that? How does your body communicate this to you? Be in relationship with your body here. And find that place where you can pause. Say yes to this shape. And then let this go, allow yourself to come back up to standing, release your arms down by your side. Take two breaths in and out. Just notice now. What's it like to just release and let go? Be in this in-between place. And then reach the arms back up overhead, bring the palms together, steeple the fingers. Or notice if you'd like to do something else with your arms as you begin to move into this shape on the other side. Tune into your body. How does your body want to embrace this shape on the left side? Maybe you want to separate the arms. Maybe you want to bring the left arm down by your side and just reach up with the right arm. Explore this shape, explore edge, and then find that edge where you can just be with some deep breaths. Feel the sensation, know that something is happening, but this is a place where you can pause and breathe into it. Notice where your awareness is in your body. Can you just be with your body here? If the mind wanders, take a breath and come back at any time. What's happening now? And then begin to let that go, come back to standing, and just shake out your body. Shake out your fingers, your toes, your arms, your head, your face. Just shake it out. Blah, 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 blah. Shake it out. And keeping the feet pressing into the floor, imagine there's a chair behind you, and it's the perfect height for you. You're going to reach your arms out in front, and then you're going to sink your hips back just an inch just to that place where you start to feel that first change in sensation. Now with the last two postures that we explored, you might have noticed that that was more of a stretch. In this shape, I'm gonna invite you to feel more of a, maybe it's more of a sustaining. And then notice if you can drop your hips down even more and sink into this stool, into this chair. And notice how edge shows up in your body, where edge shows up in your body, how your body communicates with you. Maybe you lift the hips up and down a couple of times, exploring the range of sensation, the range of movement. And then find that place that you can establish your edge embrace this shape 
allow your body to embrace this shape. Be in this shape with your body. Breath in and breath out. Right here, right now. Just breathe, feel, and notice. Then you're gonna start to let this go as an in inhale, and then exhale, fold down over your knees. Let the crown of your head come down towards the floor. Let your knees be soft. Notice all the ways that you can let go of effort in your upper body. And if you're still holding on to effort or tension, notice that too. Everything is welcome here. Your experience is exactly right for you. Take some falling out breaths. Maybe you putter the lips. Just notice what it's like to explore letting go. Receive the invitation of letting go, of letting go of effort, of striving, of being anything else than what you are right now in this moment. And then from here, I invite you to find your way down onto the mat, face down. And take the next couple of breaths to get there. As you start to feel the full length of your body in contact with the mat, with the floor, and again with that deeper connection of earth around you. Let your arms come down by the side or find any shape that will support you for the next few breaths to just be here in this new shape. Maybe being in this shape as if it's the first time your body has ever experienced this. Be with the experience from the tips of your toes, out through the tips of your fingers, up through the crown of your head. Just be here now. Notice what you notice and feel what you feel. And then start to slide your arms by your side if they're not already there, palms down, bringing the elbows into the body, hands under the shoulders. And bring your forehead in contact with the floor if it's not already there. Feel the lengthening in the spine. Bring your big toes together if that's available. But just let your body be long here. As you breathe in, maybe you can even feel your spine getting longer. Just notice now. And I'm going to invite you to stay with me as I bring you into this next posture. Notice if there's a desire to move ahead or get there quicker. Just notice that and see if you can still stay with me. And if you can't, that's okay. But with those palms pressing into the floor, just lift the head up, maybe just two inches. Again, feeling that first point where sensation might change. And notice here. And every time you inhale and exhale, push into the palms and lift yourself up more. Let go of any destination, let go of any striving, and just embrace this shape. Let this shape embrace you and your body. Keep the gaze straight ahead, keep the spine straight. Maybe your arms are straight. Maybe you're resting on your forearms. Notice how your body communicates with you and says, yes, this is where we should be, where we want to be, 
this is what's right for us right now. And breathe into it. This body, this breath, this shape. Breathe, feel, and notice. Notice where sensation is in your body. Where is your attention and awareness? See if you can bring equal attention to the back of the body and the front of the body. And notice your breath, the shape of your breath. Be with the breath as it flows through your body. here now. Notice what's happening now. And the stillness, the pause, the quiet, maybe the mind turns on. Maybe a story or a thought comes into the mind, that's okay. Just notice that. Maybe you can say, not right now, and take a breath and come back to the body. Be in relationship with your body. Inhale and exhale. And then begin to let this shape go. Come back down to the floor. Breathe in and breathe out. Notice now. This place of in between. Maybe unknown. Maybe curiosity of what's happening next. Another breath here, just be with that. That pause in the unknown. And then in your own way, begin to bring yourself up onto hands and knees. And as we move into one of our last final postures, I invite you to use any props that you might desire as you move from hands and knees to bringing the hips back towards the heels. Maybe your knees are together, maybe your knees are apart. Maybe you'd like a pillow or a bolster under your chest. Maybe you'd like a blanket under your knees. Some people like to roll up a blanket and place it under their sit bones. Just notice all the different options and check in with your body. Be friend, be a friend to your body in this shape. And find a way to embrace this shape in your body in a way where you can find deep breaths, where you can pause in stillness. And once you find that still place, just breathe. Just breathe, feel, and notice. Again, if the mind wanders, that's okay. That's going to happen. Just take a breath and come back to the body. Let your body be the anchor to present moment. 
be right here, right now. If there's a desire to fix or change or be anywhere else, notice that and see if you can still stay here. One breath, one moment at a time. Just be. Be with your body here. And start to let this go. Start to move the body in such a way that you can lift up and eventually find your way onto your back. Breath in and breath out. Just being with your body as you move into this new shape. Now feeling the back side of the body supported by the floor, the building you're in, the earth around you. Body, breath here, now. And if anything else is present, just let it go. Distractions, sounds, thoughts, memories. See if you can put them on pause. Bring your concentration back to your breath and to your body. And start to draw your knees up into your chest. Wrap your arms or your hands around the knees or shins. And let this be an embrace. An embrace of you, an embrace of your body. Maybe there have been times where you weren't in relationship to your body or you didn't befriend your body. But you can do it here in this moment. See if you can shower yourself with unconditional love, unconditional positive regard. Just embrace you, experience you. If there's a desire to fix or change or understand the past or the future, just let that go. Just be here in this moment. Embrace yourself. Embrace your body. Continue to breathe in and breathe out. Just feel this embrace for another couple breaths. Can you just shower radical self-love and acceptance into every cell of your being? start to let this go and over the next couple of breaths and start to picture in your mind's eye what kind of shape would support you as we move into meditation maybe you want to lie on the floor and cover yourself up with some blankets maybe you want to come up to seated either on the floor or in a chair but take the next minute or so to find that shape, your meditation shape. It may be different from the meditation shape that you've used in the past or the one that you'll use tomorrow. Just find that shape that works for you and your body today. And when you arrive there, find three falling out breaths. 
Allow your hands to rest comfortably in your lap or just by your side and close your eyes or soften your gaze. But withdraw the senses from the external world around you and bring all your awareness inward. And I invite you to allow your breath to be the point of concentration, the focus of your awareness. Breathe in and breathe out. And most of all, give yourself permission to be here in this experience through this guided meditation. Allow your breath to be an anchor. Every breath, a meditation. Anytime the mind wanders or you become distracted, take a breath and come back. See if you can inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose. You might even be able to really focus on the breath as it enters and exits the body. Receiving breath and releasing breath. And bring your awareness to the inhale as it touches the nose, maybe feeling the coolness of the breath. And then begin to follow that breath as it moves through your body. Letting the breath become slower and deeper, allowing yourself to really drop in even deeper to this meditative experience. Just being here one breath at a time. If there's a desire to change or fix or create something different, just notice that. Take a breath and see if you can come back. As you inhale and exhale, follow the shape of the breath as it moves through the body. Maybe you dwell in the pause at the bottom and the pause at the top. Just being in that deep, deep stillness. that space between breaths. Just be a witness to yourself, to your breath, to your moment to moment experience. Know that everything is welcome and your experience is exactly right for you. And over the next breath or two, begin to come out of the present moment and go back through this experience, this class, and ask yourself, what awareness is arising for me right now? What am I noticing? What wisdom is my body presenting to me in this moment? Let it rise up and be with it. It might be a word, an image, a thought, feeling, could be a color or a shape, just witness it. No need to name it or do anything with it. And if nothing arises, that's okay. Just be with that. Just be with your body and yourself and honor your experience. And then bring one hand up to your chest once you have something in mind. Feel that connection to self, hand, to chest, to heart space. And then begin to use this information to look forward and ask yourself, what am I leaving behind? 
What am I stepping into? What is the letting go that will create more flow and ease in my life? Maybe it's related to befriending the body. Maybe it's something completely different. Just let it rise up and be with it. Your experience is exactly right for you and everything is welcome. And notice if anything bubbles up for you. And if not, that's okay. But eventually bring both hands up to that heart space. Maybe you stack the palms one on top of the other. Maybe you bring the palms together and bow down chin to chest. With the eyes closed or staying with that soft gaze, maybe send a little prayer or sentiments of gratitude out through your body. And be in relationship with your body one last time. Be in that experience of befriending the body, whether that is new or something that's very familiar. Just be with your body here in one more breath. And start to let the arms go come back to the present moment take your time fluttering open your eyes reorienting to the space around you take a couple more deep breaths and you may want to take the next moment or two to journal or reflect on your experience know that your experience is exactly right for you and I hope that you can take this experience of befriending the body just being re in relationship with your body in any way that feels right with you as you head back into the world. Thank you so much for being here. If you need to reach me or connect in any way, please contact me at www.shae.us.